to better our education, education for our children. But I just want to emphasize on one item, and that is the ethnic study. I'm happy that it's been included in this bill from the very beginning until now. And I thank Senator Kunish, Senator Shawasinski, and their, for their leadership, and all those who serve in the E12 committees and in the conference committee as well. I'm sure ethnic studies will teach a wide, wide array of culture and tradition, including subject that talks about my background. I said it before that I am a proud American, but my Hmong culture, language, and history, and tradition are fading away faster than we know. My Hmong culture is based on oral tradition. We had no written language until recently. The old say that we used to have written language, but lost through trial and tribulation. Our story, language, are passed down from spoken word from one generation to another. Allow me to sum up the long history of my people in one minute. My Hmong people were indigenous people of Asia. Conflict and oppression faced through many dynasties forced, forced my ancestor out of China to Southeast Asia many centuries ago. Laos, in particular, was where Hmong helped America during the Vietnam War. Then faced persecution and genocide, causing us to exile here. This is our trial of tears, and they need to be taught in classroom today in greater details. I would not be so worried about my disappearing culture if there is a country, a territory out there, for example, Hmong land, where we can go for Hmong culture, history and language preservation and improve upon for ourselves and our future generation, my future generation. There's no Hmong land out there. On the other hand, I am and we are now Americans, Hmong Americans. As a people of diaspora, we commit to con commit and contribute to the nation and state that we live in. So Hmong land may be, in some respect, as imaginative as Lake Wabagon, but in reality, our home now is here, here in Minnesota. <laughs> And I'm hopeful that ethnic study will help preserve the disappearing cultures like mine and teach students about the diverse makeup of our state in today's classroom and the next generations. Thank you for listening and I will vote for this bill and encourage all of you to join me. Thank you.